What's up everyone, Andrew here. We're gonna be talking about global actions. Global actions are super nice, you can use them. Um, they're always here at the top bar, this little plus. These are global actions. <clears throat> um, you can use them at, in any screen, you know, no matter what app you're in, where you're at, this uh, is coming up um, and you can set it up and they can be really powerful. They're generally used uh, also in like mobile settings, so like on your uh, cell phone, when you're using the, the Salesforce app, these options will be able to have like on your home map or your home page, like users and uh, cases, a couple of different places like that. But they're super nice because you can just, if you gotta just jot down something quick, the users need something like that, you can have it. So, how you create and add the uh, actions to the global actions, just type here. I'm in the setup for this sandbox global actions. Here, global actions, wait for that to load. Okay, so here you have the current uh, global act, the options for global act actions. Most of those are on this uh, layout here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly create a new action. It's gonna create a reg record. I'm gonna do a contact just to uh, be simple. We'll call it new cross prospect. This is not one that I currently have. So auto populate the name. Go ahead and add the description if you want. This is just sandbox. I'm not going to keep it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Obviously, you have the icon uh, that you can change and a success message that lets them know, you know the record was saved correctly. So let me go ahead and hit save. Uh, this is super powerful right here. This, um, these are the fields that are going to be available to fill out all this quick action. So say you have a quick action here right here, new task, task, the task object has a lot of fields that you could potentially fill out. Um, but in certain use cases, maybe you only want certain ones. So in this case, I'm going to take off the account name, not going to worry about that, not worry about title. Let's just say I'm worried about name, email, phone, and birthday. Super nice because you can just simplify it as much as you need to make this as, as uh, quick as you want. So then I go ahead and click save. Now we have an action that will be ready to be added here. Um, quick note, you can predefine field values. So those four that I chose that will show up, you can add pre-populated values. They can't be tied to the screen that you're looking at. Like say you're already looking at a contact or account, uh, that's part of the global action limitation is, you know, you're not gonna be tying it to any other objects, but it is gonna be quick and easy. So, Anyways, here we go. Moving on, uh, going back to setup, going to publisher layouts. This is essentially the layout that you see here. Right here, I have all these options. You can change that depending on uh, the user or profiles. You just create a different layout here and then assign it to different people and have a different ones. So I'm just gonna edit the basic one here. Go ahead and hit edit. I'm going to go to mobile and lightning actions. Uh, and this is that new global action that I just created, new prospect. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down here, put it first in line for Salesforce mobile and lightning experience actions. That's that list that we're seeing right there and you will be able to see on a mobile device. Save it. I'm going to refresh the page. And let's check it out, hopefully it's there. New prospect, pretty sweet. If I click on that, pops up down here. Just a couple little options, first name, last name, email, phone, birthday. Super awesome, uh, easy, quick, and that's how you do it.